Oh, <laughs> hey y'all, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. Let's see what we got going on today. Hey you guys, what's up? In today's video, I thought I would show you how I print my pictures for memory keeping. I get a lot of questions asking how I print them and how they fit so perfectly in the squares of the Big Happy Planner. Okay, so first I wanna show you the, the way I resize the photos. And I have, let me just say that I have a Polaroid zip printer, which is what I used at first for memory keeping. And you just buy the printer paper, which I probably still have some in here. But the printer paper can get kind of costly. And also the photo quality is not that great, the color and everything. So I just prefer to print mine at Walgreens just because the, the quality is always great. It's very economical and it's convenient for me. If you don't live near a Walgreens, then it probably wouldn't be convenient for you. But this is a great way to get started without buying any special equipment. First, I'm gonna turn off one of these lights. It's gonna look a little darker, but I want you to be able to see the phone. So I'm gonna resize the photos where each one will be a two by three rectangle. So let me show you which will fit perfectly in the big happy planner, like this size. Actually, mine are a tiny bit shy, but I do keep a little bit of a margin in between the photos. You can take that out and I'll show you how, but I just like to have that there for ease of cutting. It just gives me a little bit more room for error if I cut a little bit of the picture out it doesn't matter because it's the margin so let's get started okay so hopefully you can see that good so what I do to resize the photos I go to an app called pick frame and I have it here I have a folder called photo and video that has all my apps for photos and videos and so I'm gonna go to that and open it the first thing you want to do which mine is already on that but let me show you it might start out on 1.1, but you want to select 2.3. So it will be in that size if you want it to fit the big happy planner. So that ratio is selected. And then now I'm going to go to frames because they have all these different templates here. But I'm going to go to just this one with four. So I selected the one with four. And I'll show you how to take out the margins in just a moment. So you're going to tap on the first rectangle and then it's going to give you some options camera roll or take photos. So I want to go to my camera roll because that's where I'm printing them from. And I am printing photos for the past two weeks. And my photos usually run me about a dollar a week or yeah, a dollar for a week's worth of photos. So these are probably going to be about $2. And then I always have left some left over for my monthly spreads. Sometimes I end up having to print a few more, but what I do is I select every photo that I've decided to keep. I usually go through and delete photos that aren't good or that I didn't like or I took multiples of um, on a regular basis. So anything that's in here, I'm gonna print because I might need it. And also it gives me some le that will be left over. So now I'm gonna go select camera roll. Here we go. I'm gonna start with this one of Chip and Millie. Then just go ahead and select four. Okay, and then you can resize them once you get it pulled up. You can center it or zoom in a little bit. It's my daughter's cat, Basil. He was striking a pose on the chair and the table. And then here we are at the gym taking a selfie. And that's when I scored some new Happy Planner products from Stephanie's Favorites. So I've got them all positioned and zoomed how I want and cropped. So I'm gonna press this share button and just hit save. And now it's gonna keep it in my camera roll. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that process until I get all the photos in here that I need. Resize these, there we were shopping at Sprouts. And another thing about memory keeping, people think, oh, well, I don't do anything worth you know, taking a picture of. Just the little everyday things are what you're gonna look back on and make you remember that specific time and, it, and that what happened that day. So it doesn't matter how big or small your memories are. Everything to me is worth documenting because it's gonna help you look back and remember that time in your life. So I have this one positioned how I so want. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Now you also can edit in here like the colors and do some text on there if you wanted to do that. I usually edit mine with pick, tap, go. And I've already done the ones that I wanted to, so they are ready to go. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that. 
Okay, and then here we were, my daughter and I went to the park one day and saw there, there are llamas that live, that the house that's right beside the park, there's a fence between the park and the house. They actually have several llamas, so we love to go and watch them. They're so cute. So I'm gonna select a few of these. And we had fun on the swings and everything. It was a great time. Okay, and save that one. And so occasionally there will be a picture that's too wide like this one of the three wiener dogs on the day bed asleep. So that one I'm going to change the template and print it a little bit wider. So I'll come back to that one. I'm going to replace it with just a regular photo that's not so wide. There's Millie at the beach. We have a little, like a little, obviously a man-made beach in the backyard. We don't have a pool or anything, but it has sand and a, like an umbrella and some chairs that we like to hang out at when the weather's nice. And so I'm going to save that one. So now I've gotten all my pictures picked out and I'm going to show you how to take the border out if you want. Just click on border and it's on this standard size, which is what I like to keep it on just so I have a little room for error if I cut in the wrong place, but you can take it all the way out where there's absolutely none, or you can have more if you want to make them smaller. All right, so now for those pictures that were a little bit too long, so I'm going to go to frames. I'm going to select this one that just has two and then follow the same steps. I am going to go to the one of the dogs on the bed there and then there was one that was a group picture at the shower that was several of us all right so now and then i can zoom in or crop that however i want then i'm going to zoom in on this a little bit all right and then i'm going to save that one and then there's even one more that's really long like a long shot of us at the table so i'm going to go back to frames and select this one and now I'm going to put it in here and then I'm just going to do it again because I don't have any other ones that are that I need to print this quite this long Okay, so then I'm going to save that one. I'm done resizing them, so I'm going to close that out. And then now I'm going to go to the Walgreens app. But before I do that, I'm going to Google a Walgreens photo coupon code. There's always one available, and a lot of times there's one in the app, but it won't be quite as much of a saving savings as the one that I can look up on Google. So I will go in here and just search Walgreens photo coupon, and it comes right up because I look this up every week. Here we go. The first one that's not an ad, and then it says 50% off everything photo, enter code more smiles. So all I have to do is remember so that. Now I'm just going to go to my Walgreens app. I have it here in a shopping folder. And then I'm already signed in. If you don't have an account at Walgreens or an app and set up in your name at Walgreens, you'll just need to set that up. It's quick and easy. Maybe enter your phone number and your address and your email. But I'm going to click photo. And so here this coupon code comes up 30% off mobile app phone orders but we already have one that's 50% off, so we're not gonna use that. But if you didn't have one, just click use that and it will automatically apply that. So then I'm gonna go to prints. You can print from your device, Facebook, or upload them to the Walgreens app or Dropbox, but I'm just gonna print right from my device. And then I'm gonna select all of the ones that I want to print. All right. And then my total is 306. So I'm gonna add a promo code, which is more smiles. And now that brings it down to 153. So all I have to do now is click next, select the store I wanna pick it up at, and then there it is uploading. 
and then after your I've already submitted this order so I don't want to do it again but you just click submit order and it'll say done so and they're usually ready in less than an hour so I'm going to pick them up and then show you exactly what they look like when you get and them. Usually since my orders are, are small like that with just a few photos, they, they do them right away. So they might be ready. If I got in the car and drove right now, they might be ready when I get there. So, But anyway, that is how I resize them and print them. And always look for the photo coupon code. Okay, so I've been to Walgreens to pick up my photos. They were ready super quick, and I just walked up to the counter and asked them for my order, and they were $2.04, and this is for two weeks worth of photos. So they come out just like this, and I just slice them with my paper trimmer. So this is what I mean by the the margin. So I just have a little bit of room to play with when I'm when I'm trimming them. So I've got all my photos here for two weeks. Here's how that one came out that I, I took the margin out of this one just to see what it would look like. And then there's that one, but all the other are in this sort of window pane like the, with the four pictures. So it's super easy and simple and quick and economical and you don't need any special equipment to get started. So that is it and I wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of my posts. And I'd love to see you in the next video. Bye guys.